to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Hannah Olson and I live in Minnesota with my husband and our three children Sophie Soren and Svea today I wanted to sit down and real quickly show you what is in my Easter baskets the Easter baskets I'm giving our three children this year now I didn't grow up doing Easter baskets and I really want to avoid the whole materialism issue that can come with Easter because for us as Christians, that is not the point of Easter. The point is the fact that Jesus, who was fully God and fully man, bodily rose from the grave and thereby saved us from our sins. We are so grateful for that and that is the whole point of Easter because if Easter is not true, if Jesus' resurrection is not true, then Christianity does not have very much to stand on. So anyway, that is the whole point of Easter, the main point of Easter for us in our family and that is what we celebrate. We celebrate our Savior, our risen Savior. But I wanted to share these Easter baskets as kind of a fun spring a way to herald in the start of spring. I really have enjoyed doing Easter baskets with our kids ever since our first, Sophie, was a newborn or a baby. And it has been really fun celebrating the start of spring this way. I try to include some things that are practical, which you will see in today's video. A little bit of background info for you. We have a six-year-old girl, a four-year-old boy, and a one-year-old girl. So th that's the ages and genders I've been shopping for, for our children's Easter baskets, but a lot of these can actually work perfectly well for almost any age in that age range. So hopefully today's video will be helpful for you. All right, we're going to go in birth order, just because that keeps things organized for me. We're going to start with this Easter basket for my six-year-old, our six-year-old daughter, Sophie. And like I mentioned, a lot of these different ideas are going to work across a whole range of ages. But this is what we got for our six-year-old. Let's start with the basket itself, in case you're curious. I got it years and years ago from Target, so I don't really know um, what kinds of things they have right now. Um, still there, but this is a cloth circular basket. It's been really cute and durable over time. We also have this lovely little wooden tag. I got this more recently. This says Solvay, which is her birth name, Sophie's birth name. She goes by Sophie, but that is an Etsy tag. So I will link that Etsy shop down below. I got one of these tags, of course, for each of the kids' Easter baskets, and I think they are so beautiful. I'm not really the queen of styling things in a cute way, so yes, they have all been shoved in here, but hey, I think the kids will still enjoy that. We'll just start with, um, maybe I'll pull out what is in front here. I started out with Burt's Bees pajamas, which I like to get the kids pretty much every year for their Easter baskets. We love these pajamas. I will start with this one. I got Sophie a short sleeve uh, t-shirt and shorts set. There we go. And it's just a really springy pattern, but I plan on using these as long as she possibly fits in them. These are not strictly for spring or summer. I also got a long sleeve and long pants pajama set. I thought these were really cute, kind of Eastery colors. But uh, again, she'll use these as long as we possibly can. We tend to get holes in the knees of our pajamas. <laughs> Most pants, actually. And that's how it goes. But I love Burt's Bees quality and how soft they are. Sometimes I can find these on the Kitizen app, and other times I do just get them from Amazon or the Burt's Bees uh, website itself. But pajamas are a perfect thing to have in your kid's Easter basket. I feel like it's such a great way to again, herald the start of spring and get excited about maybe not needing thick, warm winter pajamas. And we're here in Minnesota, as you can maybe see out the window behind me, we actually have a lot of snow that fell last night. It's a late March snowstorm. So we are, of course, looking forward to spring. This next item is from Hobby Lobby. This is just a bubbles container that is made to look like a girl's dress. I think that is so cute. Hobby Lobby definitely has a lot of good items on sale in their, they call it their spring shop right now. So this was one of those items. The kids love bubbles every year. And so I always like to pick up a little more because you know, as a mom, what happens to bubbles? They are always spilling. <laughs> This next one, I know the kids are going to love. This is called a Robo Turtle. I will link it down below. 
You can see it says $6.99. I think it was also on sale though at Hobby Lobby, but it might be on Amazon too. Our son has a fish that is this brand and it can swim in the bath water in the bathtub and that has been a lot of fun for him. So a turtle I thought would be really great for my girl who loves ocean creatures. And yeah, this is a pink turtle for Sophie. Also from Hobby Lobby, I got her a, what is it? Ages five and up hidden pictures alphabet book. And so just any little coloring book or search and find kind of book is a really fun addition to an Easter basket. And it's educational too, but of course it's mostly just fun to look through. This is a little crinkly, so I'll try not to be too loud here for you. But this is a little wooden cross set with markers. This again was from Hobby Lobby. It's one of their seasonal craft ideas. Here, I'll turn it around. It says he is risen, so that's a good pointer, a good reminder about the true meaning of this whole Easter season. The second to last item in Sophie's Easter basket is this Eastern Bluebird. I just cut the tags off. This is one of those Wild Audubon brand birds. You can get these on Amazon usually, but I found this at a local toy store. And I love these because they have true recorded bird calls in it. So I'll just show you real quick. <laughs> So that is the Eastern Bluebird. We don't have this one, but we have a couple other birds and over time they do lose their battery or whatever because you can't um, replace the battery, but they are so sweet and the kids always still love playing with the birds. I thought this was a really cute spring themed thing to put in the Easter basket. And finally, I know this looks pretty simple and plain, but I was really excited about this idea. I know the kids will love it. This is a notebook that has drawing space at the top and then, boy, let's see if you can see it with how bright things are. Drawing space at the top and then it has lined like elementary or primary grade paper at the bottom. And so I think it would be really perfect for a, a story. And Sophie's always trying to write stories and describe or label pictures. I thought it would be so much fun. And I have seen much more expensive versions of this. And yes, maybe they're a little more pretty, but I thought this was perfect. I got a set of three of these on Amazon, so I will link that down below for you as well. Perfect for anyone who just wants to start the process of becoming a writer or they just want to write stories or draw or label pictures all day long. This is perfect. Even if your child doesn't know how to write yet, we are still doing a lot of the phonetic spelling at our stage. I think it's totally worth it and it really helps have a more print rich household and yeah anyway I could go on about this because I was really excited to find these notebooks. So this is the last item in Sophie's Easter basket. All right we're going to go with Soren's Easter basket next. Soren is our four-year-old boy. He's got a blue Easter basket and of course that tag from that Etsy shop that says Soren in cursive. And yeah, let's jump right in. You can see it once again, I styled it very beautifully. But we've got two pairs of those Burt's Bees pajamas for Soren. There are always different um, styles or varieties of these patterns that are available. Sometimes on Amazon you can find really neat patterns, like a whole whole huge variety of them. And sometimes it's harder to find and then you go over to the Burt's Bees website or again, you can look on Kidizen, the free app for buying and selling used or new clothing for kids. So this is a really cute stripe pattern. This is of course the long sleeve, long pants version. And I also got Soren a more summery pajama set here. He loves Nemo fish, as he calls them, these clownfish. So I thought that would be really fun for him. This is a short sleeve t-shirt and the cute little shorts that go with it. So that's going to be really fun for him. Even though Soren has that robotic or battery operated bathtub fish that I mentioned, I got him a blue turtle so that Sophie and Soren match. We do a lot of matching in our household. Life isn't always fair, but when I can match, you know, little gift ideas for them, I really enjoy doing that. And so this is a blue turtle, the Robo Turtle. I bet that'll be so much fun for him during bath time. And then for Soren, who loves all things police officers, firefighters, rescue workers, all those kinds of things, he's got this bubble container from Hobby Lobby. It's a fireman, firefighter, and I think he will really enjoy this. Hopefully it'll last a little while. It's a decent sized bubble container, but most of all, it's very cute. 
I also got Soren that he is Risen craft set. It comes with a few markers and he can work on decorating that for Easter. Also from Hobby Lobby, but I believe I've seen this elsewhere, is this little gliders um, airplane. It's like a thick styrofoam or foam. Pretty durable. It can get squashed because I know this because we've owned one before and he loved it, but it can get bent up a little bit. It was $3.99 and it was 40% off at Hobby Lobby. So I think Soren will really enjoy this. He loves all things airplanes as well. Also from Hobby Lobby, I got Soren in ages three to five preschool mazes book. He enjoys mazes. He has a couple other mazes books and this one has really sweet little illustrations in it. So I thought that could be perfect for church, for waiting in the dance studio waiting room or during quiet time here at home too. So we always love little easy activity books like this that the kids can do independently. The notebook that I got Soren is the same one I just described to you for Sophie. This is just the green one. I think he's really going to love it. He loves copying, like doing copy work and looking at a book of favorite um, characters or animals and trying to write the words and copy those and then drawing pictures and then he'll come over and describe all sorts of things that he's designed to me. So I thought this would be a really fun um, notebook for him to have and again it came as part of a, a three notebook set so we do technically have a third notebook around here but I'm not giving it to Svea our one-year-old so this is Soren's notebook the final item in Soren's Easter basket is this red-tailed hawk I'm excited about this one for him because he loves falcons and hawks and raptors so this is one of those again that I guess I'll squeeze it for you so it just does the song twice. It's a recorded bird call by Wild Audubon Birds, and these are such fun stuffed animals. I just made sure to pick out ones that I wasn't going to have a problem with, you know, like if it wasn't a really shrill sound. I think I'm fine with this. I know Soren loves hawks, and this will be a fun one to play with. Okay, here is our third and final Easter basket I wanted to share with you today. This is Svea's Easter basket, and oh, I love it. Hers has a little bunny on it, but we've got a whole bunny theme going on here. We've got the Svea tag from the Etsy shop, and you will soon see even more bunny-related things, which is really fun because we just had her first birthday party, and we went with the theme, Some Bunny is One. She was born in March, so it's really fun to really run with that bunny and spring animal theme. For Svea, I did get her also one of those wild Audubon birds. She has been really interested in ducks at a certain park that we like to go walk at, and there are so many ducks there, and so she loves hearing the ducks. I don't really need to show you what a duck sounds like, but it's one of those wild Audubon birds that has the recorded bird call when you squeeze it. I think this year for Svea, I only found one set of pajamas. I had bought her other sets that she's currently wearing, but these are a really pink, kind of a girly dinosaur theme. These are Burt's Bees, long sleeve, long pants, and she has really actually enjoyed these kinds of pajama sets that don't have feet, like the non-footy or footed pajama sets. So this will be really sweet for her to have this spring and summer. I'm cheating a tiny bit because I pulled one of our spring picture books. This is actually a board book and I am putting this in her Easter basket because no one cares, that's totally fine. This is a book called When Spring Comes and I actually talked about this in my spring picture books video that you can check out here on my YouTube channel. So be sure to watch that video if you're looking for any book suggestions that have to do with spring or Easter, but especially spring in general, because there are a lot of really good books in that video, in that collection, and this is one of them. Another book that I'm kind of cheating with because Svea has already been enjoying reading this one is called Babies on the Farm. It's a chunky lift-a-flap book. It has very thick board book-like flaps, which is awesome. And it's all about little babies on the farm. And I love it, it's so cute. So this one is definitely in her basket for this year. And I'm including the Easter story, our Easter story book, because that is the true meaning of this season. And it's very important that we don't lose sight of that. So we will definitely be reading this book this year. I also wanted to mention that we like to do a resurrection rolls recipe as a family and that's pretty much just crescent rolls the pre-made crescent roll dough you can get at the grocery store and you put a jumbo sized marshmallow that has been dipped in melted butter and cinnamon sugar 
inside the crescent roll and when you bake it the marshmallow essentially melts away and dissolves away leaving a hollow crescent roll basically and then that sparks the conversation about the tomb being empty after Jesus was buried and rose again. So resurrection rolls are always a fun Easter themed thing we like to do with our family. I will link a recipe down below so that you can try it out with your family too if you're interested. Another darling little Easter basket idea is this set of three Jelly Cat Baby Bunnies. Jelly Cat brand is a wonderful stuffed animal brand. They're always so huggable and squishy and high quality too. And these were actually a birthday gift from my parents for Svea. So I guess I'm just cheating a lot with Svea's Easter basket this year, but she's one and she doesn't care. And I wanted to show you guys these bunnies because they are so darling. She loves them so much. They have this little soft, um, I don't know, basket or nest. It looks kind of like grass, but anyway so fuzzy and cute what a darling set so I will link this little jelly cat set down below I am hoping that I can find it on Amazon because then it could arrive in time for you for your Easter baskets too but jelly cat brand is always a huge win in our family something else I had on the list for this year was a bunny and Svea got this for her birthday as well this is a jelly cat brand bunny it has beautiful flowers inside the ears Sophie has a white one or cream colored one and Soren has a dark green one so these bunnies are really really sweet and Svea has really enjoyed this one we have nicknamed it bun bun so this I actually took from Svea in order to record this video. Finally, I wanted to share this doll as an idea for an Easter basket, especially for a one-year-old like Svea, our daughter. I just gave this to Svea for her birthday party and she loves this doll. It's called Baby Stella, or the brand is called Stella, and this is the smaller version, I think, and she loves it so much. Um, this is a really cute doll because there's actually a magnetic pacifier that kind of just sucks or sticks on, but Svea, who doesn't take a pacifier herself, said, I think she just really doesn't think the baby needs one because she's constantly taking it off and making sure the baby does not actually have a pacifier. So that's kind of funny, but this baby Stella is so cute. We've been calling her Dolly and I wanted to link that below in the description box for you if I can find it. I bet I can, and I think this would be such a darling addition to a little one-year-old girl's Easter basket this year. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful for you to see what we have in our Easter baskets for our six-year-old girl, four-year-old boy, and one-year-old girl. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any new videos coming your way. If you want to stay up to date with what's new on the blog, new on YouTube, and get a new tried and true recipe or meal idea, then be sure to sign up for my email list that is linked down for you in the description box and I have a brand new free masterclass for you. It's all about productivity tips and secrets for moms of young children, even if you don't have outside childcare. So be sure to check out the free masterclass that is also linked down below. Most of all though, I hope you have a blessed Easter and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Yesterday there was sun in there